In your strength, O Lord, the just one rejoices. How greatly your salvation makes him glad you have granted him his soul's desire. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, on this feast day of St. Louis, we come into God's presence asking for his intercession. And we also ask the Father for mercy. And so let us call to mind our sins, that we may worthily celebrate these sacred mysteries. You are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who brought St. Louis from the cares of earthly rule to the glory of our heavenly realm, grant, we pray through his intercession, that by fulfilling our duties on earth, we may seek out your eternal kingdom through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. We ask you, brothers and sisters, with regard to the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and our assembling with him, not to be shaken out of your minds suddenly, or to be alarmed either by a spirit or by an oral statement, or by a letter allegedly from us, to the effect that the day of the Lord is at hand. Let no one deceive you in any way. To this end, he has also called you through our gospel to possess the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, brothers and sisters, stand firm and hold fast to the traditions that you were taught, either by an oral statement or by a letter of ours. May our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God our Father who has loved us and given us everlasting encouragement and good hope through his grace, encourage your hearts and strengthen them in every good work and deed, in every good deed and word, the word of the Lord. The Lord comes to judge the earth. The Lord comes to judge the earth. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. He has made the world firm, not to be moved. He governs the peoples with equity. Though the Lord comes to judge the earth. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the sea and what fills it resound. Let the plains be joyful and all that is in them. Then shall all the trees of the forest exult. The Lord comes to judge the earth. Before the Lord, for he comes, for he comes to rule the earth. He shall rule the world with justice and the peoples with his constancy. The Lord comes to judge the earth. Able 
to discern reflections and thoughts of the heart. Alleluia. According to Matthew. Glory, glory, glory. Jesus said, Woe well, to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You pay tithes of mint and dill and of cumin, and have neglected the weightier things of the law, judgment and mercy and fidelity. But these you should have done without neglecting the others. Blind guides who strain out the net and swallow the camel. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You cleanse the outside of cup and dish, but inside they are full of plunder and self-indulgence. Blind Pharisee, cleanse first the inside of the cup, so that the outside also may be clean. The Gospel of the Lord. Jesus is giving a prophetic exhortation this morning. And if we notice throughout the ministry of Jesus, the one whom he projects these prophetic exhortations to are never the tax collectors or the sinners. As he said, he came as a physician to heal the wounds of sin and division. He came as a physician of our souls to heal our brokenness, as signified in the tax collector and the sinner. So he never came railing against those whom the Pharisees and the Sadducees would condemn. He came offering mercy not demanding sacrifice. But who did he rail against? Whom did he project these prophetic exhortations to? To the Pharisees, to those who were the religious leaders of his day. In a certain sense, if you want to be technical, the Sadducees, the priests of the temple, were the leaders, whereas the Pharisees were the scribes and those who meditated upon the Torah. So there's a subtle distinction between the various factions of Jesus' day. But nevertheless, these were the ones who held up themselves as the keepers of the Torah, the ones who interpreted the law for the people. And Jesus is saying, apply the principle of both and, not either or. Don't focus on these other traditions and then disregard the more weightier traditions, mercy, justice, fidelity. He is saying both and. And that principle is the Catholic principle, according to Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI. That for a Catholic, we are integrating everything into the whole, so that means that whatever we approach, we never take an either or attitude towards something. But with Christ's own authority and example, We integrate as much as we can into the kingdom of God. And so as we come to the altar, we give thanks for what Jesus has taught us, how he has fed us with this word, that mercy, justice, and fidelity are the most important treasures of the kingdom that he himself has given us, and that we can keep the other things that he refers to in the gospel, the other traditions, the other traditions that we might have inherited even with our own Catholic faith, but not to the disregarding of those more weightier things of the law, both and. So to our Jesus, who gives us this example, be the power and the glory now and forever. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. 
For all members of the church, may Christ keep us faithful to the gospel. We pray to the Lord. For the Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all people of the world, may the Lord's love and mercy be upon them and bring them to salvation. We pray to the Lord. For the Lord, hear our prayer. For those who live each day with fears and anxieties, may the Holy Spirit be their comfort and their strength. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our parish, may God continue to fill us with his gifts and graces. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the faithful departed, may the Lord welcome them into his eternal peace and give them the gifts of mercy, justice, and fidelity. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the intention of this Mass, Ralph Stander, and for all the intentions we hold in our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, 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 Lord God, we thank you for always hearing our prayers. Answer them and receive them upon your heavenly altar, for we offer them to you through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. But blessed be God. Through the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine which we offer you, fruit of the vine and the work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. But bless us the God. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, in my name. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be made acceptable before God, the Father Almighty. And the Lord set the sacrifice of your hands. Through the, through the present oblational, Lord, which we offer in commemoration of blessed Louis, bestow on your faithful, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord. Our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new, and offer us sure signs of your love, and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled. Their great example lends us courage. Their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks. As an exaltation, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is the King who comes in. Hosanna in 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by our cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Timothy, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope 
and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer to one another the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, and grant us peace. May this make one of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive. Receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring me to judgment or condemnation, but for your loving mercy, be for me protection of my own body and the healing of me. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep us safe to eternal life. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be given you besides, says the Lord. Spiritual act of communion for those not here present. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you're already there, I embrace you and unite myself wholly to you. Permit not that I should ever be separated from you. Amen.
Let us cast our lips as food, O Lord. May we possess in purity of heart that what has been given to us in time may be our healing for eternity. Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord, in commemoration of Blessed Louis, sanctify our minds and hearts, that we may merit to be made sharers in the divine nature through Christ our Lord. Amen. It's a very brief meditation. It came to me during the reception of communion that the way in which we cleanse the inside of the dish it's by partaking of the Lord's body and blood, so how blessed are we who have the means to cleanse the inside of the dish that Christ speaks of in the Gospel. The Lord be with you. And May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in the battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God be you can we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who proud throughout.